Mysterious sightings have been reported from the rocky heights of Block Peak. Are you ready for a snow fight? Yuri is! You have chosen good, comrade. The one Yeti army that's bringing back the Ice Age. Let's check this Yeti out. Yuri's special block is ice. It's strong, it's cheap, and it'll send heroes slipping and sliding in all directions. All except fellow Yetis. These guys are used to brave and tough conditions. Being near his ice block will also activate Yuri's passive. His role specific blocks are radars, respawn pads, landmines, and sandbags. Radars reveal all enemy activity in a short range. Build them defensively to prepare for an enemy assault, or offensively so you can see what you're jumping into. Respawn pads give your team a place to spawn wherever the block is placed. Drop them in strategic locations across the arena. Landmines are cheap and stick to any surface. Use them to cover objectives and cover your retreat. They're guaranteed to surprise your opponents. Sandbags are the toughest building blocks in the game. They're more durable than ice, but have a build time and won't activate your passive. Yuri's other blocks are bricks, crates, glue, bombs, and large bombs. Yuri's primary weapons are snowballs. As long as he's near ice or snow, this Yeti can whirl up his very own blizzard of death. Use alt fire to make an extra strong frost ball. It'll take a moment to wind up, but packs a meaner punch when it hits an enemy. The snow thrower 6000 SUX is Yuri's secondary weapon. It's a short range ice thrower that takes a few seconds to wind up doing constant damage and slowing enemies caught in the blast. Alt fire rapidly launches snow blocks at the targeted location, doing a small amount of damage and giving Yuri zone control. The snow thrower has a small ammo reserve, allowing you to lay down covering fire where there isn't any snow and gives Yuri access to the rest of his deadly arsenal. Yuri's active ability throws out a marker, causing an avalanche in that location. Use it to generate snow for your weapons or to give yourself some cover when you need it. Yuri thrives in the cold. His passive ability, chilling out, continuously provides ammo and regenerates health when he's close to ice and snow blocks. Now that we've got to know the Yeti, let's jump into the build phase. Yuri's primary task is getting down a few key radars and a respawn pad for his team's defense. He then places his unique ice block around the front cube, which Nigel covers with caltrops. He finishes off his frosty defenses and gets ready for the game to start. The barrier drops. Yuri is staying close to his ice block, meaning he can barrage the enemy attackers with snowballs, helping fend off the initial attack. Spotting an opening, Yuri charges forward, keeping himself supplied with ammo by spamming his approach with ice and snow. Moving towards the enemy base, he gets into range and starts barraging Tony's turrets with his snowballs, taking them out one by one. Advancing towards the cube, Yuri throws down his avalanche, encasing him in snow and allowing him to start wailing away on the enemy base. Beware the wrath of the tundra. Yuri will rock you quicker than you can say, Flash Freeze! A cold day is a good day. What the block you gonna do? 